In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your lower front forward control arm bushing, which is located right here. The first thing we have to do is remove the wheel. So with a 19 millimeter socket, take all five of your lug bolts off and then remove the wheel. Next, we need to take this shield down so we can get access to the two bolts that hold the control arm at the front here. So I'm just gonna go around, and my bolts are 12 millimeter. Yours might be different, um, so it looks like someone replaced these. That's why mine might be different. So I'll just go around, take off everything that holds on this shield. From underneath the control arm, you can see an 18 millimeter nut here. So what's happening here is the bolt is spinning, it's kind of stuck to the stud and it's spinning the whole stud in place. So to overcome that issue, I'm going to take a six millimeter Allen socket and I'm going to put it right in the middle here. Make sure it's seated 100% all the way. Then I'm going to take my wrench, slide it over the nut. I'm going to hold the stud while I take the um, nut off. off the rest of the way. Okay, now with the nut off, I'm actually gonna put it back just a few threads so that it holds this in place. That way when we unbolt the control arm from the subframe, it doesn't wanna drop down and fall. So now let's unbolt these two bolts over here. 18 millimeter headed bolt. Unfortunately, can't fit a much bigger tool in here. bolt doesn't have to come out, but it has to unthread from the uh, control arm back here. So once you get it up to this point and it moves freely, you can just leave it in here. And same with this one. Probably should have done this one first. Okay. So this one can come out, but it doesn't have to. So I'm just going to leave this one in here. Now at the back here, next to the tie rod, you have a 21 millimeter nut at the top of this 18 millimeter headed bolt. So I'll hold the nut and loosen up the bolt. Perfect. Now I'm gonna take off the nut of the ball joint. This comes down, that's perfect. Try and remove this rear bushing from the frame, or the, the subframe that is. Okay. Okay, that comes down, and there it is. As you do this, don't go too far out because you'll separate the inner joint of your CV axle. This one's fine, but you know, if you go too far, you'll separate it. So here's the old bushing. I'm gonna use a press to press this out, and I have this cup here. This is gonna be my receiving cup. This is gonna receive the bushing as I press it out. Note the orientation of the bushing because it is facing in a particular direction. So keep that in mind. And then at the top, I have a cup here that actually fits on the outer sleeve of this bushing. I don't want to press in the middle because that's not actually going to press out the bushing. It's just going to rip the center part out and press it out. So I have this one, which fits on the outer sleeve, and it's going to press everything through. OK, so now that it's all set up, let's press down. Let's release pressure. And there you have it. So now here's the control arm. Mine's not in too bad of condition. If yours is, either consider replacing it or clean up the corrosion here. This is the new bushing, and remember which way it faced. It had this smaller area facing towards where it bolts onto the subframe, and this was perpendicular to this line right here. So make sure it goes in the right way, and then I'm gonna press it down until it's flush with the control arm. Okay, now let's apply some pressure press it down into the control arm. And if you notice that it's going at an angle, then stop and try to resituate the bushing so that it is going down straight. Remember the control arm is aluminum, so it's a softer metal. 
you don't want to damage it. Okay, one more pump. Perfect. That's flush with the control arm right there. Let's release pressure. Take out the adapters and everything. That is perfect. So let's install this in the vehicle. Time to put the control arm back in. Um, you'll have to put the, the ball joint in first, but also the rear bushing apparently all at the same time. That's fine. The ball joint's the easy part because this will just slide right in. Okay, that's in. I'm going to put this nut on here so that it holds it on. I don't want this falling off. Okay, so this is secured. It can't fall on me. Uh, now we have to line everything else up. So it's kind of into place, but it needs to go up so it can actually line up parallel with the uh, mounting holes and the bolts and everything. So here's what I'm going to try to do uh, to make this front bushing line up. I'm going to take out this front bolt, which by the way, I coated the shank of it in any seize. I'm going to thread it in at the front here. That should be good right there. And I'm going to take my 17 millimeter socket with a long extension on it and try to pry this up like that. What this is going to do is it's actually going to twist this bushing up and hold it in place for me. It's actually going to line up this bolt with its mounting hole. And now I have this long but pointy punch and I'm going to try and drive it in through the hole here because I can actually see half of the mounting hole in the control arm bushing. And with this in here, I'm hoping that I can kind of persuade it into place. All right, finally, slide this bolt through. At the top, there should be a little spring washer. Put that on, and then the nut, of course. Hold the nut, tighten the bolt. The torque for this is 65 newton meters and then 180 degrees, which is basically half a turn. And the 65 newton meters converts to about 48 foot pounds. So let's hold the nut side and torque the bolt side. Right there, and 180 degrees. Well, I went to 130 and that's all I can do physically. Like I can't turn it anymore. So if you can do 180, go for it. But I'd say that's pretty tight. Now let's tighten these front ones just because they, they line up. So might as well do these now. And the same torque spec applies to these. This one in as well. That's it. Now let's bottom out this nut. Torque is 50 newton meters and then 40 degrees. 50 newton meters converts to 37 foot pounds. Okay, so that's 50 right there and 40 degrees. And that's it right there. Let's bring this shield back up and resecure it. Put the wheel back on, put on all five of your lug bolts, and then we'll snug them up and torque them. A hundred foot pounds in a cross pattern for these lug bolts. Double check them. Perfect. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.